Good morning, YouTube. It's me, Fancy. I'm getting ready to do a makeup tutorial. I'm kind of in a rush. I did not plan this look out, so I'm kind of winging it, winging it this morning. And I'm going to do it based on a bag that I just got that a member from my church made for me out of a shirt. So I'm going to try to see if I could do it along those lines. So we'll see what we come up with. If you notice my eyelashes are kind of raggedy, it's time for them to be redone. I haven't had the time this week, so this weekend I will have new lashes. Today I'll just have to Instead of going through the, all the extra dramatic. So I think what I'm going to do is this. Do my highlight first. I know that's backwards, but I'm using my Sonya Kashuk brushes. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And my neutral palette. This is the highlight color. I use this color a lot. I need to try another one, but that's the main one. Brush so I'm not late for work. I don't just put my makeup on to go to bed. I actually wear my makeup like this to go to work. So most of the tutorials that you'll be seeing are my looks for the day. Okay, next. And brush I use for my paint pot. I am going to put on this brown out of the neutral palette. All over my eyelid. It's the blending brush. I use that to put on my paint pot and when I want to put on a large amount of one color, I use that from Eco Tools. The next thing is out with the matte palette, 88 color matte palette from BH. And I think I'm going to go with this color right here in the bottom. Not the green, this brown. The Sonya Kashuk brush out of the set that I got. I'm not going to do it so close to the corner of the eyelid of my eye because I'm going to put another color over there. And I think what I'm going to do is this is what I do to get the former eyeshadow off of my brushes. Another um, Sonya Kashuk brush, one of the smallest ones. And I'm going to take the paint pot and I'm going to put this in the corner of my eye. A little along the rim, the bottom of my eyelid. 
because I'm going to put color there and I don't want it to um I know that some days depending on the color it kind of wears off Chris we got like 15 minutes Okay, so now I'll do this shade of yellow. Oh, you guys can't see it. This one in the corner. I think I'm also going to take this red and with the same brush do that. Yeah, I think that's dark enough. And this is going to be a twist, I think. I'm going to do a crease with the darkest green in the palette. Let's see how that turns out. I necessarily didn't have to use all the colors, but I learned to try it anyway. Something creative, just something to do. So, which that I usually norm normally usually normally use to um when my colors up. Just out of crease, like I said, doesn't have to be V shade, doesn't have to be anything too heavy. And the excess color out off. My words are always good at the beginning. I can blend it a little better. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see that. But I'm going to go do my eyeliner and the rest of my makeup because my time is limited. And then I'll come back to show you guys the rest of the video and pictures. All right, everyone, this is the finished look. Please ignore the eyelashes, they're a little raggedy. I think it turned out okay better than i thought once again this is to match my i love jack bag that treacy from the church made for me shout out to treacy i love my bag hopefully i have another bag coming soon so i can do something but i'll do pictures at the end thanks for joining me have a good day